On Friday, King Charles III addressed the nation for the first time following his mother, Queen Elizabeth II's death. He spoke about his love for his children Prince Harry and Prince William while discussing their new titles. During an appearance on Dan Wooden's GB News show, Lady Colin Campbell paid a tribute to the new king as she gave her thoughts on his speech. Speaking to GB News Weekend Breakfast, Lady Campbell praised, I thought it was an excellent speech. I saw that he addressed all of the concerns, and there have been considerable concerns, both from his detractors and his supporters. And I think he made it absolutely clear that he intends to muffle himself and be as neutral and as unobjectionable as he possibly can be. And you know, he will succeed. I've always said, has not dumb, and has going to make sure that he abides by the conventions. She told the GB News host, what I also found was really interesting was that he made the point very clearly about the Church of England because if you remember, he used to be speaking about how he wanted to be the defender of faith. Well, there is only one defender of faith, and it is the defender of the Anglican faith. And so I thought he was very measured in addressing people's concerns. Drawing her attention to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Lady Campbell continued, I thought he was also brilliant, in the way he love-bombed Harry and Meghan, and made it absolutely clear that they have no parts to play. And I know they don't want to have a part to play but I don't think Terry's much of a way back for them, even if they did want to have a part to play. It's a very difficult situation for the family and it's a very difficult situation for the father. You know, if you love your son, you don't want to have to cut him completely off. And I think it's the way he handled things was very decorous, delicate but firm. I was very impressed with the tone of his speech, and all of the main bullet points. He ticked every box. During King Charles' speech paid a moving tribute to his mother, who served 70 years on the throne. He also explained the Duke of Cambridge will now be known as the Prince of Wales, as well as the Duke of Cornwall and Cambridge. His wife, Catherine, will be known as the Princess of Wales. The royal expressed his love for Prince Harry and Meghan, wishing them well as they continued to build their lives abroad. King Charles said, Our new Prince and Princess of Wales, will I know continue to inspire and lead our national conversations, helping to bring the Marshal to the center ground where vital help can be given. I want also to express my love for Harry and Meghan as they continue to build their lives overseas. In a little over a week's time, we will come together as a nation, as a commonwealth and indeed a global community to lay my beloved mother to rest. In our sorrow, let us remember and draw strength from the light of her example. GB News airs daily from 6 a.m.